Good afternoon, class. How's everybody doing? Um, I'm going to be discussing um, distinguishing between liberty and freedom. Uh, just because you have the freedom to do something doesn't give you the liberty. Freedom is doing what you want. And liberty is using that freedom responsibly. In the book Inventing Freedom, uh, author Daniel Hanna said, and I quote, Thomas Jefferson saw Americans as true Anglo-Saxons who carried their freedoms into the new world and preserved them in a purer form than the old country, end quote. So did, <clears throat> did uh, Jefferson imply that the colonists did whatever they freely wanted? No, but the word freedom is probably used more frequently than liberty. I believe the Declaration of Independence embodies this distinction uh, between freedom and liberty. Uh, Jefferson declares the colonists freedom um, to separate from Great Britain and the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. All men are created equal and the right to overthrow uh, government. It was the colonists' liberty to put a stop to the tyranny and oppression of the British government. Jefferson saying these freedoms exist from the liberties to use them. So what <clears throat> was freedom? Well, according to Aristotle in Mariah uh, M. Walsh's article, uh, Aristotle's Conception of Freedom, Walsh states, and I quote, The free man can never be forced to do what is good, for he must direct himself to the ends that he sees himself, that he himself sees, are, cho are choice worthy. But the defender of Aristotelian freedom need not prize the alleged right to do wrong, spoken of so frequently by contemporary theorists. For he can recognize the possibility of choosing badly for what is namely an unfortunate consequence of his capacity for freedom. Chris Christopherson wrote a song, Me and Bob McGing, sung by Janis Joplin, in which she sang, Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. A homeless man may be completely free to go where he wants, but he does not have the liberty to travel to certain places because he may not have the documentation or the funds to do so. So the ideas of freedom and liberty can be seen in the history of the formation of British Parliament, uh, New England's town meetings, and as well as Virginia's House of Burgesses. People do want their freedoms, but it is our liberty that sets the parameter and the guidelines. But do these liberties still exist? Jeff Kennedy writes in his article, uh, Cicero, Roman Republicanism and the Contested Meaning of Liberty, of Libertas. Quoting Cicero, he states, and I quote, Liberty is therefore said to be the most prevalent in democracies and precludes large disparities of wealth among the citizenry. Proponents of democracy say that ostentatious wealth, or the allowance thereof, will result in the cowardly and weak giving way and bowing down to the pride of wealth, which paves the way for the rule of one or the few." End quote. So do we have as much liberty as we did 200 years ago? In some ways, yes educational choices, jobs, ability to make income. But then we see how little we have to say sometimes in the paying of taxes, looking at health care, or determining decisions of government foreign affairs. Perhaps we've given over certain liberties to our government. Perhaps Jefferson, as, Je as Jefferson said, writing to Madison, and a quote, a little rebellion now and then is a good thing. This may ensure we keep those freedom and liberties. Sometimes I wish it could be like this fence. Robert Pross's poem, the, the Mending Wall, gives us the phrase, good fences make good neighbors. A simple fence gives me and my neighbor the freedoms to do what we want in our own yard and establishing the liberty to respect each other's property. But our nation with over 300 million citizens is now more complex and maybe perhaps a simple fence uh, can fix. Have a great week, and um, I hope everyone um, does well on their assignments. Um, I've enjoyed this class so far, and look forward to watching um, other videos. Have a good day.